Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about how to visit an inmate at the Tent City Jails, both men and women. Now, if you're going to visit a male inmate, basically you go down to either 35th Avenue or 27th Avenue, and when you hit Durango, head towards uh, roughly 29th Avenue in between, and you're going to hit Durango and Gibson Lane and the Estrella Jail is going to be on the corner there, the southwest corner. Now that's the women's facility, but you're going to see a sign that says tent visitation this way. And for the men, go south on Gibson Lane, and you're going to keep going and look for the tent city visitation signs. Now if you go down and you bend and you start heading west again, you've gone too far. That's where the uh, Durango jail, the Towers jail, and actually the Tent City jail itself is over there. But look for the signs, it'll point you in the right direction. Park in the parking lot over by Towers jail. Um, the hours are Sunday and Monday only for Tent City. Okay, so just Sunday or Monday, 8 in the morning to 8 p.m. Last sign up is at 715. Um, this excludes any inmates who are on work release or work furlough. So they have to be there full time in order to get visitation in Tent City. Now, when you go to visit them, there's going to be video screens only. That's where you pick up a phone and you talk to them through plexiglass. Here's the problem. Those calls are tape recorded, so don't talk about the case itself. Just talk about generalities or visit them and keep their spirits up, but don't talk about anything that can be used against them. Now, with the women, the women visitation, you're actually going to check in at the Estrella Jail, which is at Gibson Lane and Durango. Just go inside and they'll check in. And that's 2939 West Durango Avenue. If you have any questions, you can call the Sheriff's Information Management System or the jail line. That's at 602-876-0322. And more specifically, the Tents Jail regarding questions of visitation restrictions or any other questions you have at 602-876-0322. 1735. Now, general information about visitation. Um, you only, the inmate only gets one 30 minute visitation per week. Okay, maximum is two visitors at a time. This does not include babies that are under a year old, but the minute they're a year old or older, that is counted as one visitor. You have to have a valid ID. No swap meet IDs, uh, no Sam's Club IDs, etc. It's got to be uh, something from the DMV or a passport, something like that. You can have no felony convictions. They will not let you visit if you're a convicted felon. Um, you cannot have spent jail time in Maricopa County Jail in the last 12 months, not even overnight. They won't let you in and no illegal aliens. If you are under 18, you cannot do any visitation at the 4th Avenue Jail, but you can at the tents. Now you must be accompanied by an adult. Uh, if you're a spouse, meaning you're married and you're 17 years old, uh, then you can go by yourself, but you have to have a valid marriage certificate. Make sure your valid ID is a license, a DMV ID card, or a school ID card. If you're under 14 years of age, you don't need any valid ID. You just need to be with an adult. Dress code. Dress conservatively. Call the jail if you have any questions. Uh, when you get there, fill out the white form. Put the inmate's full name, date of birth, and their booking number if you have it. Bring it up to the window with your valid ID and slide it through in the drawer. Now, if you have a loved one who's in jail, but they have not yet been convicted of anything, they're still in the pretrial phase, give us a call. We can help. We can set you for a free 30-minute initial consultation. Doesn't cost you anything, but it takes 30 minutes of your time. If they're already sentenced, uh, or they're, if they've already pled, but they're not sentenced, and you want help with this sentencing, give us a call. Maybe we can get a lower sentence uh, on the range, if they pled to a range. If they've already been convicted, Maybe we can help with an appeal, a post-conviction relief petition, or a sentence modification. Give us a call. We're at 602-307-0808 or go to our website, dmcantor.com. Fill out a form for contact us and we'll get right back to you. I look forward to hearing from you soon.